Good morning. Today is July 1st, Friday, 9.25 a.m. You know, I was just thinking about the cost of convenience. I have a garage opener to install and it has Wi-Fi on it. When I was getting the cost on it, it was, the lady asked me, do I want Wi-Fi or do I want just a regular opener? And I was like, wow. How much do we pay for convenience? There's an upcharge on most things that make life convenient. We went from televisions where you had to turn a dial. Yes, I'm telling my age at this point. To televisions with remote controls. Televisions with VCRs or video cassette recorders which transform to DVDs, to Blu-rays. And now we have Wi-Fi televisions where you can connect to so many different types of streaming platforms that you don't need those recording devices as much. Even the cable companies have created wireless connections And I just look at some of the lurking variables in convenience cost, such as somebody can hack your system, things shut down. If the internet and power goes, so does your convenience. Even with people, and no judgment, it's just what it is. But even with people making deliveries, you have to trust that they're doing the right thing. I'll never forget a guy who was, this was a couple years back, but a guy was taking food from a shop. He was doing a delivery. It was, you know, it had the packaging and labeling as if it were a delivery. I forget for which company, but he was using his foot to scoot it out the door and it was on the floor. And I'm like, this is food. And people are gonna put this on their counter. And it just appalled me that this was the care that this particular, and this was one random incident. And I don't wanna make this like this happens all the time. But again, it's still the cost of convenience. The cost of not getting your butt up out the bed and doing what you need to do, moving. It's like we're becoming like the matrix. Just stay in your cell, I mean your home, and work from there. Generate whatever money you can and send it out to those we're going to make deliveries and come by and do provide services for you. And there's so many, there's so much information on how to do things yourself right there through YouTube or I learn or What's the name of this place? I forget, but it's, it's some weird name. But it's so many different platforms from where you can learn how to do things. And there's so much with convenience that's taking away the human interaction, the customer service. And I, I noticed customer service is getting low. One friend who has a surgery coming up, the doctors didn't even notify him that it's been rescheduled. And this is not the first time I've heard that from another person, that doctors haven't notified that there's a rescheduling customer service. At the very least, if, I'm, if, if money is being provided to your business through me, whether I'm a conduit for insurance or what have you, 
at the very least, you can say, hey, we've made a reschedule. But some people feel they're in such demand that nothing's ever going to change in terms of the amount of income that comes there. I even look at some stores now who are finding it difficult to find people to hire. This one particular store is having difficulty keeping males on hand who do their job. It's a lot of lifting and carrying things for customers, but you know, I just look at how much the impact of the convenience of a divorce, the convenience of separating, the convenience of, well, I don't have to do that. The convenience of, I'm not gonna raise my kids, or maybe not the convenience, the inconvenience of not being able to raise my kids or children. The I'd rather just get child support or a government check, Section 8 or whatever, and never truly establish relationship or enough relationship with the other count with with whatever counterpart to raise these children to have values. Or maybe I never got values to even instill that into my children. Convenience. What character has convenience allowed you to develop? We have supercomputers right here at our hands on these phones. Cameras are becoming less needed with the use of these phones, with great images or what have you. It's crazy. How many businesses are going under because of convenience? It's no secret, Amazon is putting a lot of brick and mortar stores out of business. First it was Walmart and now it's Amazon. They were putting a lot of people out of business. How much are we gonna, I mean, ooh, let's look at food. <laughs> Grocery stores. I mean, there's a big movement toward growing your own food now, but there's also a lot of people who don't even know how to water a regular plant on a regular enough basis to keep it alive. To know that it needs light and water or even research the type of plant that you have or read the directions on a, that it comes with to know how to care for the plant. Just to have oxygen, fresh air inside your home or even grow food. I know it's been with me working self-employed, it has been really inconvenient trying to care for my fruit trees. And I recognize that I have to do a better job of keeping the insects off my trees because <laughs> They ate all my peaches <laughs> and plums. And I'm just like, ah, stop being lazy. But anyhow, cost of convenience. What type of world will we have or our children have? Because everything was so convenient that they never learned how to do anything. Seed time and harvest time.
Oh, impatience. Or patience. Just things to think about. So. That patience have its good work. So that you may produce the character that you need to succeed in every area of your life. With God. With relationships. With your business. In Jesus' name.